Hey everybody, Motopolit59 here. For the entire Donald Trump campaign in 2016 and for all four years of his presidency, we had to listen to the Democrats cry about how he was going to get us into a war. Not only did he not get us into a war, he never even came close. In fact, he made nice with North Korea as nice as you can make with a communist regime. He made nice with Russia, as nice as you can make with a criminal like Putin running your country. But while he was president, no one gave us any trouble. North Korea stood down and Trump went over there and watched them do their military exercises and nobody gave us any grief. The terrorists in the Mideast, Iran, Nobody, Taliban, no one gave us any grief the entire time Donald Trump was president, and he gave no one else any grief. Did he impose some tariffs on places like China? Yeah, he did. And if Joe Biden were to do that, everybody would call him a hero. But since it was Donald Trump that did it, it was a terrible thing, and it cost all kinds of jobs and all these things. All we hear people talk about is we need to bring our jobs back to America. And when Donald Trump tried to do that, he was uh, accused of being a xenophobe. But you know who has started grumblings around the world towards us? The Biden administration. That's right. We are looking at a war right now between Russia and Ukraine. And the Biden administration is making sounds like we're going to step in and help the Ukraine. It's a terrible idea. It's an awful, dangerous idea, and it shouldn't even be being considered. Who are the Ukraine? Why should we be helping them? Russia is not our enemy. This is not the days of the USSR. Russia is a trading partner with us, and we need to stay out of their affairs. Uh, China is grumbling, China's not going to start a war with us. And neither is Russia, neither is anyone else. No one is going to start a war with the United States of America. The United States of America may end up sticking its nose somewhere where it doesn't belong again and uh, get it pinched, as we did in Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, Syria. Look, we can piss and moan all we want about what a bad man Saddam Hussein was. And he was. He was a terrible guy. But you know what? We didn't, there were, there were no terrorists hiding in Iraq when he was in charge. Uh, he was a thug and a criminal and a terrible, terrible person. But he kept things in order over there. And what do we do? We went and stuck our nose where it didn't belong. We lost a lot of American uh, service personnel and, and civilians. And, uh, and it started, a the, the war on terror started problems that didn't need to be started to actually fight the war on terror. I, was, uh, I wasn't mad that uh, George W. Bush did what he did uh, in Iraq, but I was disappointed. I, was, I had hoped he would stay out of that mess. And I hope that the Biden administration keeps us out of Syria, where Donald Trump was doing everything he could to get us out of there. Biden's already talking about more troops and more help. We need to get out of there. We just need to get out of those places over there and let those people fight their own battles and may the best man win. Uh, if they start jacking with Israel, maybe we can throw in some... Uh, uh, weaponry or some machinery for them, but Israel does not need our help. They do not need our troops and our military over there swimming in their soup. They can do it without us. They've proven that a couple of times already. Uh, but we don't need to be uh, in Russia. We don't need to be in the Ukraine. We don't need to be sticking our noses in that. Uh, the Ukraine will get its ass kicked by Russia if it comes down to that. Is it going to come to that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But whatever happens, we need to stay out of it. And uh, I just don't think that the Biden administration, for all the crap that people talked about Donald Trump wanting to get us into wars, I don't think the Biden administration is the answer to keeping us out of wars. Democrats have historically done well during wars. Uh, 
The problem is they get us into these conflicts and then everybody gets mad and votes them out and leaves it up to the Republican to come in and stop things like uh, Nixon did with Vietnam. And uh, we need to stay out of other people's fights. Uh, the whole, we're doing this for democracy around the world, uh, really doesn't float anymore. Uh, those countries, a lot of them, are, they aren't really interested in our form of democracy. Uh, they're not constitutional republics. Things don't work the same there as they do here. We need to quit trying to impose our will. Whether it's a Republican or a Democrat administration, we need to stop trying to impose our will around the world. Let these people have their civil wars. Uh, let them kill each other. If they want to involve themselves in genocide with their fellow men, let them do it. It's not our concern if they start causing problems that do affect uh, America in, in a more direct way, okay, all right, I get it. But uh, anything going on between Russia and the Ukraine has no effect on America. Uh, the Democrats are posturing and trying to sound like the good guy saviors when all they're really doing is being war hawks, which is what they always accuse the Republicans of being. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motopoet59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. We'll see you all later.